let's say I need some content about um, guitars because I'm trying to promote my website with guitar lessons and songs with chords and so on. But I don't have any articles on guitars that I could spin. Well, I can click this new link right here, the one that says fetch a new article. When I click it, this new screen pops up and as you can see it's got a search box. I can simply enter say guitar chords and click fetch. And just a couple of seconds later, I get literally hundreds of articles about guitar chords. And let's say I like the look of this one. It says here it's got 568 words. Let me just click fetch this article. And here we go. We've got a brand new relevant article sitting right here in the input field and waiting to be spun into thousands of articles. And we made this possible by integrating the big content search database of hundreds of thousands of articles into step one of the spinning process. And all of our awesome users, such as yourself, will be getting free access to take this new feature for a spin. Let me show you something else. Let me move to step two of the process. I'll just click start. And <laughs> we're done. Did you notice how quick that was? It used to take like four or five seconds, but we've basically brought this processing time down to one second, which is an 80% improvement. And this was very hard to do, but I think it was more than worth it. And it's not just faster, it's also even more intelligent and it recognizes the actual meaning of the words and phrases even better than before. So it's just an improvement all across the board. Uh, okay, so we are in step two now. And I'm sure you're familiar with the one-click rewrite option, which kind of takes care of everything for you. And it picks the best synonyms and it just does the job for you. Uh, well, if you've been using the one-click rewrite option, you'll know that it takes about two or three minutes to, pro to process a regular 500-word article like this one. But uh, we've done something pretty awesome here too. If you take a closer look here, you'll see that we've, got, uh, we've now got a brand new option, hyperspeed. And by enabling this new option, you'll get the exact same awesome quality out of your one-click rewrites, but instead of taking two or three minutes, it'll now take you just nine seconds. So <laughs> let me show it to you. Okay, uh, let's, let's click right here and look at how quickly it's processing the article and it'll be done with it before we know it. So we've now covered the new fetch a new article feature plus two major, major improvements when it comes to the speed of Spinner Rider. But I've still got other awesome new things to show you. So let's just move straight to the step three. Here we are, and once again, you're probably quite familiar with the interface. Uh, here in this text box at the top, we've got our spun article that will be used to create all of our new articles. And by clicking the Generate a Unique Version button, these new articles get created and they're displayed in this text box at the bottom. But you might have noticed that we've now got this new button here in the middle. And it's similar to the button in step one that enables all of the ENL semantic spinning features. And here in step three, it does something quite similar. It enables a bunch of new breakthrough features that will take your content to the next level. So let me show them to you right now. You're probably already familiar with the first option we've got here because it was already available in previous versions of Spinner Rider. But this second option right here is brand new and it's very powerful. By enabling this option, Spinner Rider will analyze your article and determine if it can reorder the paragraphs while making sure the generated unique articles still make perfect sense. So for example, it will never move the title or any subtitles in your article. And if you've got an ordered list in your article, for example, a number of steps that need to be followed when cooking something, Spinner Rider is not going to change the order of the steps. But if you've got some paragraphs that can be reordered, it will intelligently switch them around to make your generated articles even more unique. And if you've got some unordered lists in there, like a, a list of the ingredients you need to make a pizza, it will also change the order of the items on that list to make sure your new articles are even more unique. So that's just a super powerful new feature and it took a lot of effort to do it right, but again, I think it's going to make such a huge difference and it was definitely worth the effort. Uh, and I also wanted to show you this final option right here, the one that says fetch relevant videos. You can now just click this option and again, this new screen looks quite familiar to, to the one in step one. Here you can just enter the topic of the videos you want to insert into your articles. Say I'm looking for videos about guitar chords. Uh, I'll just type in guitar chords 
and I'll automatically get a list of relevant videos. And then you can just click the videos you want to use. And you tell Spinner Rider how many of those relevant videos you want to include into each of the new articles that it'll generate for you. So let's say out of those five videos, I want Spinner Rider to use two videos in every new article it creates for me. Okay, insert, and we're all done. And we can now click the Generate a Unique Version button. As you can see, we've now got a number of new options here at the bottom. You can quickly check if your new article passes Copyscape. And in the 5.0 version, we've also built in a top of the line grammar and spelling checker. If there's something wrong with the grammar or the spelling of your new article, it'll let you know and you'll be able to fix that with one click. And finally, you can click the preview button. And you'll see that we've got a brand new, completely unique article about guitar chords, along with relevant videos, and we've done all of that in just a couple of minutes. So uh, this was a sneak peek at the upcoming Spinner Rider 5.0 features and I hope you guys are as excited about them as I am. And again, the 5.0 version goes live on Tuesday, October 21st. And uh, thanks for being one of our awesome users and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!